Hello, everyone. My name is Danny Diaz. I am the founder of New Day Restoration. Um, I am not going to be on here long. I am actually going to pin this video to our group. So um, everyone has an opportunity to see it and also um, for new members that come in. Um, so they will also see this. So um, this video, again, is going to be very quick. Um, what I want to talk about today is I'm going to give um, you kind of an informal mission statement of this group. And I hope that everybody watches this because this is going to be important. Um, we are being led into a time of shaking. And the reason why um, I am correlating the shaking to our mission statement is because yesterday um, I had posted um, something in our group talking about idolatry and um, talking about surrender. And um, there were a lot of comments in the comment, not a, a lot, I'll say there were some comments in the comment section um, that were really challenging my point of view. And I wanna say, I wanna say this, the reason why I am shooting this video is because I don't want people, the other people in the group to get confused and I don't want people to be distracted. So I um, am going to read you a mission statement. It is on my screen, so you'll see me moving. It's not really a mission statement. It's just, it's very informal. Um, you'll see me looking over uh, to read it. But I'll also say this, you know, being a leader, um, God called me to this. I should say that first, okay? So being a leader, we see things that you don't see. I'm going to say, um, also tell you this, I have been in over 300 sessions with men and women. So I have the ability to see patterns. I have the ability to see the effects um, based on people's decisions. I also give uh, direct words, get direct words from the Lord on how to steward this group. So I'm going to be very firm and direct in what I say. And I don't want people to be offended. If you are offended, there is another place for you. There are other standing groups that you can go to. So I'm gonna be very blunt and say that because again, my responsibility is to lead this group the way that the Lord wants me to lead the group. And I cannot have people distracting others and um, challenging the way that the Lord has led me to lead this group. So I'm just gonna read this, okay? So there was a post about idolatry and surrendering our spouses yesterday that I took down based on some of the comments that ensued. You can take this post as an informal mission statement for New Day Restoration that I will also pin so new members can see this to help you decide if this group is a good fit. Please do not compare this group to any other standing group. The Lord has me stewarding New Day Restoration a certain way, all in its own, and I know the right people who he has led here will stay. If you are new here, you will quickly see that this group is very unique. It is very much Holy Spirit led and Holy Spirit welcomed. We do not shy away from the spiritual things because we understand that what we in fact are facing is spiritual. I, as a leader, am not only here to encourage you, I am also here to correct and help people grow. If you are looking for advice that only feeds your flesh, this is not the right ministry or group for you. God gave me the vision of discipling people in the areas of healing, deliverance, purpose, character development, while creating a deeper intimacy with Jesus. This group is not focused solely on marriage restoration. We believe marriage restoration happens after our souls are restored. Our personal souls are restored. I'm here to challenge you, and I'm here to help you mature in your walk in Christ. I am also here to shake up your thinking along the lines of your emotions, your beliefs, and reasoning. These things honestly have no place in our obedience with God. I am placed in this position to always lead you back to Christ his word, and his character. Many of us have gotten to this place because we as individuals, the marriage, and our homes were out of order. God is a God of order and has the highest standard. 
if you are wanting reconciliation with your spouse rather than restoration with your spouse, then again, this group is not for you. I do not advocate for restoration or reconciliation when idolatry is involved. Physical, mental, emotional, verbal, or physical abuse is present or toxic environments. I want to be clear on this. God does not either. That is not the character of God. Jesus is not wanting to feed our flesh. He's wanting to crucify it. So we, so we become more like him. With all that said, we also believe in balance. Biblical encouragement is important. We are a tight-knit group that supports and loves each other. We have each other's back. I also have your best interests at heart, even if you believe it does not line up with your own understanding. I believe God has given me the revelation and the gift to lead in this season of our lives. So respectfully and in love, Danny. So I hope um, whoever this resonates with, then you know you are here in the right place. Um, if you are challenged, um, not challenged because being challenged is good. I also like to be challenged because it allows me to reflect um, and it also allows me to take things back to the Lord um, where he can help me grow. But if you um, are struggling with and you are combative with the way that the Lord is having me lead this group, I say this respectfully and I really mean this, this is probably not the right group or ministry for you. And there are other groups that are out there that are full of encouragement. You know, we offer encouragement here, but again, as I read, I believe in balance. I believe in accountability. I believe in us being responsible. And I believe wholeheartedly that we have to have God as number one in our lives. And many of us are having a difficult time seeing the viewpoint because you're still struggling with idolatry. So I, um, if you are struggling with this message, I would just uh, pray, I hope, that you would take this up with the Lord and ask the Lord to reveal, reveal his heart to you on this message. You guys, um, I know that this was a little stern, but I had to be stern because this has been going on for a while. And I need to make sure that people are focused on what God is doing in our lives right now, because we are walking into something that is going to be detrimental if you are not focused on God. If you are so focused on your spouse and so focused on finding a way to get them home instead of focused on your personal relationship with God in this time, you are going to fail because when God shakes things, he's shaking what can be loosed off of us, the things that do not belong to him. So if you are so focused, if you are so, and, and it will happen, but if you are so focused on your spouse and not God in this season, you might find your, yourself being under the consequence of, of idolizing your spouse. So I have to be very firm and say, and, and give this message because people need to be focused on their relationship with God. People need to be focused on God's voice, not their own, not their own understanding, you know, not what other, you know, if you, if you, if, if you are reliant on what other groups say um, over God, that is an issue. If you are reliant on what I say over God, that is an issue. So everything that I tell you, take it up with the Lord and see if it matches up with him, his character and with the word. That is how we know when a message is from the Lord. That is how we know when we are hearing from the Lord. It matches up to his word and it matches up to his character. And I think a lot of us make decisions based on our feelings instead of taking it back to the Lord and saying, hmm, does this really align with God's character? Does this align with his word? And we thrive and not thrive, excuse me. We run off of our emotions. And I have to say that's very immature and unwise. So we need to be looking and looking to the Lord and standing on his word and what he says and how he guides us. 
So you guys, I love you. God bless. Take care. So you guys are going to get tired of me. <laughs> This is the third video I've uploaded today. I am so sorry. I'm not going to, I'm not going to attention it to everyone in the group um, because I, I know I'm getting on everybody's nerves today. So I'm just going to post it in the group. If you see it, you see it. Um, those who are meant to see it will see it. Um, so I'm in my kitchen cooking and the Holy Spirit began to remind me of the dream that I had this morning. And after I woke up from the dream, I thought the dream somehow was meant for me. Um, but I didn't quite understand where, where he was taking me because I didn't feel like it was for me, but I was in the dream. So the Holy Spirit just revealed to me as I'm cooking um, what the message was. And the message was tied into the post that I posted um, earlier today about the uh, mission statement, about where God is taking us. Um, in this season, and then also what this group is about. And I feel like um, the message is actually a rebuke from God. So again, take take this up, take this up with the Father. Um, so I had a dream this morning. I woke up from the dream. And like I said, I thought it was about me, um, but now um, I'm seeing it's not. it actually was not about me. So in this dream, I'm in an apartment um, with my ex-boyfriend. I do not think about this man. I mean, I, he was my boyfriend, like in my early twenties and his name is Jesus. Okay. So I was like, why is he in my dream? Okay. So we're in the apartment and Jesus wants to take me somewhere. And I said, okay. I said, I need to go to the, the restroom first. So I go to the restroom and all of a sudden I'm looking in the mirror and I open up my mouth and I start pulling out gum. And when I say pull out gum, it was pink. It was bubble gum. So it wasn't just like regular, like, you know, grown folks gum. It was pink bubble gum. Maybe that's why I'm wearing pink today. Okay. To confirm it. I don't know, but I'm pulling the gum out of my mouth and I'm pulling it like this. And it keeps going, 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 going. And like, it took forever for it to stop. And by the end of it, Finishing from my mouth, I look down and there is like a pound of pink bubble gum. And I was in the bathroom for a long time and then I woke up. So what does this mean? First of all, Jesus represented Jesus. That's who Jesus was. It, he was Jesus. I was representing representative of us in the standing community. The reason that I was in the bathroom, so what bathrooms mean spiritually is a place of cleansing, a, a place of growth, a place of repentance um, and um, restoration. So what the mouth represents is your heart. The mouth also represents, yeah, the mouth represents the heart. That's what it represents, I'm sorry. And gum Bubble gum represents immaturity. So what was coming out of the heart was immaturity. And it was taking forever for us to, for me, for us to get out of that restroom, to get out of this sanctification process, because that's where we get sanctified in the bathroom, right? It was taking forever for us to get, get out of the sanctification process, out of the restroom to go where God was trying to take us because we still had some immaturity in our heart. We were stuck in the bathroom for a long time because of what was in our hearts. So I know that this is a confirmation of the message that I gave earlier. And this is the Lord speaking to the group. He's trying to take us somewhere. And if we do not surrender, we will stay in the bathroom with an immature heart and not be in the place that he has for us, that he is trying to show us and take us. So let this just, you know, be a message that we need to be in a place of surrender. The Lord is trying to do something in your life. 
and he loves you. He has great plans for you. He has great plans for your marriage and for your spouse, but this is about you right now. So I just hope um, that you will think about this. Take it, take it to the Lord in prayer. All right, guys, God bless.